Pleasant Grove and all my Facebook family and everybody else who uh, is listening and looking on their phones, on their tablets. We bring you greetings from Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church located on 487 North Fairmont. And we are glad to be in your presence on this morning and just thanking God for his goodness and his mercy. Thanking God that he has woke us up this morning. Amen. And it's a blessing that we can be before you on this morning. And we do have a word from God. Amen. If you wouldn't mind um, standing and let us pray over our spiritual food. And let us pray, our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come right now in the name of Jesus. So we come, Lord, first of all, Lord, asking you to forgive us, Lord, for all yes, the Lord. sins, Lord, that we have committed by commission or omission. And Lord, then, Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your goodness thank you, and Lord. mercy. We want to thank you, Lord, thank you. for being here on this morning. Because, Lord, we know it's only your blessings the reason we are here. And Lord, we ask you to bless the ones who are listening um, over Facebook and over different media sections. Lord, we just ask you to bless them, Lord, as they listen right now, to the word. And bless them, Lord, that they might receive right now. what you have for them this morning. And Lord, I don't want you to help me this morning, but Lord, I want you to completely take over. Yes, Lord. And let your will and your way go forth. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are coming from 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, starting at the 12th verse. 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, starting at the 12th verse. Amen. It's in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, starting at the 12th verse. And it reads, For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them, which glory in appearance mm. and not in heart. All right. 13 verse says, For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. And I'd like to use for a brief subject, stand on the word of God. Amen. Stand on the word of God. These scriptures that, that, that we have uh, quoted today uh, come from 2 Corinthians. And we know that Paul was preaching and teaching at these churches. Whether by letter or in person, he was preaching and teaching. And here Paul got to the church. Of Corinth. And here Paul was under heavy attack. They was launching an attack against him. And guess who was attacking him? The church. Mm. The church was attacking Paul. It wasn't the people on the outside, but it was the people on the inside All right. attacking him. And there was different people coming to the church trying to fill their head with false preaching and false gospel. Mm -hmm. They was trying to do anything to uproot the church. Mm. And just like Jude 1 and 4 said, they snuck in unawarely. And we got to be careful. People will sneak in at the church and cause chaos in the church. Mm -hmm. As you would let them cause chaos. But we need to find out who's in a wolf in sheep closing. So, so here they are starting to attack Paul. And, and Paul is here trying to minister unto them. And, and when Paul first landed in Corinth, he told them about his past. He told them where he came from. He told them what he was doing now. But the church did not want to hear that. They thought that Paul was puffing himself up, was trying to boast about what he had did and where he came from. But Paul always started his message out. He said, I am a child of the king. Mm -hmm. I am a slave for Jesus Christ. All right. 
I'm nobody, but God is somebody in my life. Paul did not start off boasting. He said, but I'm boasting about Jesus Christ. I'm not boasting about myself. Mm -hmm. And brothers and sisters, sometimes we have people in our church that want to boast about God's goodness, but they're actually boasting about themselves. All right. They actually try to tell people that I'm better than what I am. Mm -hmm. When you find people not giving God the glory, then you got to wonder about what's really going on. All right. But here, Paul said, I'm just telling you about my past. I'm telling you about when 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 I fell off my horse and, and knocked me down to the ground and I couldn't see. I just want to tell you where I've been through. But I was on my way to Damascus. I was on my way to slave to, to capture uh, weak Christian because I didn't think God was weak. That's why I was gathering them up and taking them to different places to be killed. Mm. But God stopped me. And also I remember when I was at the marketplace preaching the word of God, me and my sidekick we was preaching and, and singing Zion's song. They came and they locked us up and put us in the inner prison. And they beat us and they told us, now when I release you, I want you preaching or singing anymore. All right. But as soon as All right. I got through those gates, as soon as I got out in the world, I started preaching the word all over again. All right. Church, All right. I just want to tell you what I've been through. I, I've been through a shipwreck. I, I, I've been through hard times. And that's all I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to tell you something about me. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not puffing myself up. But they did not want to believe that Paul had been through so many things. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to accept that because they had somebody in their ear. All right. And sometimes we let the world get into church business. Mm -hmm. We should never let the world into church business. All right. We should never listen to the world and not listen to God. There's a lot of times the world can tell you, don't do this, don't do that. But God said do it. So we need to listen to God. Mm -hmm. and brothers and sisters, uh, when we had our service and people was commenting about you shouldn't be there, you're crazy for being there, you need to protect your people, you don't care anything about your people, you don't care anything about anybody, you just want to defy the laws. Mm -hmm. Well, brothers and sisters, I didn't want to defy anybody. All right. I did as the Lord told me to do. I listened to God and not to the world. And I know you have some heavy comments and I know the comments was trying to help and not hinder. Mm -hmm. But I could not listen to you. I had to listen to God. All right. And so that's why I stayed open. But we all have level of faith. Mm -hmm. We all have different levels of faith. Sometimes our level is it's not where it should be. And I think I told the congregation uh, a couple of weeks ago that I'm scared of roller coasters. Mm -hmm. My faith ain't there. All right. I wouldn't get on a roller coaster because I know too much about roller because I know things can fail. But I see some people get on roller coasters and they have fun because their faith is in the right place. Mm -hmm. So your faith might not be in, in the right place at the time. Don't mean that you're weak. Don't mean that you don't have faith. Uh -huh. But we all have different faiths. Yeah. And I got mad for the people who did not come out to church on this morning or last Sunday or the Sunday before. Y'all was home protecting your family. And that's mm -hmm. what you should do. I'm not mad because you say, Pastor, I don't have the faith to come out there. All right. I need to stay at home. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. Because you're doing what you feel is best to do. Amen. That's why I listen to the word of God and not to the word. And a lot of people would say that you're crazy. Like they said, Paul, you, you're crazy. And you're beside yourself, Paul. How can you? say these things to us. We don't believe you. We don't believe what you're saying. We don't believe what you're doing. But Paul said in his word, he said, I have a purpose for being here. Mm -hmm. I have a purpose for
for saying what I said. And I thought that y'all was going to take what I said and tell the world. So you have ammunition to my critics and ones who deny me, but this is inside the church. Y'all are doubting me. Y'all are putting me down. Not the world, but y'all are putting me down. All right. So sometimes I don't care how bright it seems to you. I don't care what God tells you. The world will come and smash you. All right. And brothers and sisters, we have different levels of faith. Mm -hmm. Our level of faith is based on Jesus Christ. All right. And sometimes we got to read what the Word says. The Word will give us strength. The Word will give us admonition. The Word will give us something that we can go by. And so we had to go by the Word. And I remember a story about the three Hebrew boys. All right. There's a creed that was uh, put out until that land at that time. And the creed was law at that time. Mm -hmm. And the king said, anybody don't buy I'm going to kill them. I'm going to destroy them. All right. And the three equal boys and Daniel did not bow. All right. They did not bow for anybody or anything. They only bow for the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's who they believed in. Amen. But they was getting ready to go into the fire furnace, and, and they said, I know he can if he will. If this is where we got to go, this is where we go. Mm -hmm. And they went into the fire furnace. They cast them into the fire furnace. And the king said, I thought we cast three. Mm -hmm. But I see another one in the furnace. All right. All right. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, we got to listen to God. Amen. And the three Hebrew boys listened to God. They weren't scared to say, if I do burn, I'll be with God. Yes. So I have nothing to lose. And they came out and they didn't have any kind of burnt smell or anything All right. on them. All right. And look at Daniel. Daniel prayed three times a day. Mm -hmm. And they said, if you don't bow to the king, we're going to throw you in the lion's den. All right. And like I told you before, that the creed was law mm -hmm. at that time. And everybody did what the king said at that time. All right. But Daniel said, I won't bow to your gods. Yeah. And they threw him in the lion's den All right. that day. And they came back the next morning. Daniel was laying on one of the lions, <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Had to wake him up. All right. And they took him out of the lion's den and said, hey, we're going to serve your gods. All right. And all threw right. all the rest of the one who got it, Jesus Christ, threw him in the lion's den. Not them, but also their families also. Mm -hmm. in the lion's den. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have to stand on the word of God. All right. People are looking at us, seeing how we're going to react to what we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. This virus that's spreading, I know it's real, believe me. I don't doubt that it's not real, it is real. Mm -hmm. Because I worked for a hospital 33 years and I just want to say, give a shout out to every nurse and every doctor that is performing. They are doing a great job. Amen. And I thank God for them because God put doctors and nurses on this earth for a reason. Yes, Amen. yes. And I know the reason that he put them on it to give us to help things that we cannot do physically. Amen. But they can do it. Mm-hmm. And I remember I have a story to tell, just like Paul had a story to tell. Mm -hmm. I've been in that hospital. I had all of my arteries replaced in my heart when they took my heart and set it to the side. Mm -hmm. I'm not boasting about me, but I'm boasting about Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. What he'll do for you. Yes. And he did that. I, I prayed before I went into surgery and said, Lord, please heal me. Mm -hmm. But it's something I had to go through. Yes. And everything I went through built my faith. All right. And that's why I say your, your past breaks it will help your future faith. Yes. yes. Let me say it again. Your past breaks it. The things that God has put you through them, and you went through and you came out all right. Yes. yes. That's God's grace and that's God's mercy. And you should build your faith on things like that. All right. All right. And I just want to thank God for bringing me through 
the good times and the bad times and the struggles that I went through. Mm -hmm. And all that built my faith because I know I was going to need it in these times like this. All right. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you're Christians, we should not be running around here in panic. All right. Because God did not give us the spirit of fear. Amen. People are looking how you go going to the grocery store and not being cursed and not being kind, snatching toilet paper off the shelves and, and ripping and running. That's not God. God wants to be humble. He wants to humble ourselves and yeah. show the world that he lives. All right. The only way he can show that he lives is through us. Yes. As Christians. Amen. And so we need to not just talk it, but live it. Yes, yes, we need yes. to live what God is talking about. Yes, mm -hmm. We need to show others this is God. All right. I'm a saved individual. I'm a that Christ as my personal Savior. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Yes. We should be about giving and helping people, helping our neighbors, helping our friends at the job and encourage your heart that we're going to get through this. Yes, yes. And the only way we're going to get through is we got to depend and lean on Jesus Christ. Yes. And we're going to get through this. Yes. But also in the text, in the 13th verse, he said, Paul was beside himself. Mm -hmm. And beside yourself, it's not a good thing. All right. For who glorify the appearance and not the heart? Mm -hmm. The only way to solve controversy, Paul said, the only way I can solve this is I got to meet it head on. Yes, yes. We got to sit down. We need to talk about that I'm beside myself, that I'm, I'm talking crazy, that I've lost my mind. Mm -hmm. But I haven't lost my mind, church. I'm doing the will of God. Yes, man. Yes. Those who opposed Paul was those who glorified their appearance. They was more concerned about their position, more concerned about their ability, more concerned about their spiritual commitment, more concerned about who God was going to be, traditions, the Lord to the church, possession. That's what they was concerned about. They weren't really concerned about the heart or the mind that I have Christ in my mind yes. and not just on my lips. All right, all right. They was more concerned about what they wore. Mm -hmm. They was more concerned about how they looked yes. at each other. Uh -huh. They was more concerned about how they spoke to each other, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen in their hearts. All right. Because a time like this really tests our faith yes, in yes, Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. And believe me, brothers and sisters, it tests my faith. Mm -hmm. It tests where I was in my walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. It made me rethink about some things that I should have been doing. All right. That I wasn't doing. Mm -hmm. It tests everybody faith when we're going through difficult times. All right. It's all right when everything is all right and the sun is shining Come outside on now. Come on. and everything is going all right. It's cool, dear. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. <laughs> but you wait till bad times. You wait till the storms of life hit. Mm -hmm. Then we want to see where your faith is at. All right. want to see are you praying, studying your word. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, we got to depend on the word of God. Amen. Because that's the only way, and that's the only thing going to take us through where we're going right now. All right. So, but, but not only that, but like I said before, we got to leave Christ. Amen. Amen. Their hearts was not upon Christ. Their hearts was upon themselves. Mm -hmm. They was not glorified in Christ and what he had done for them. All right. Brother and sister, we need to remember what God has already done for us. Yes, because if yes. we remember what he done for us, we know that he can do what he can do tonight. Mm -hmm. We know we can go through what we can go through because what he did on yesterday. Yes. Yes. And we got yes. to remember what God did on yesterday and how he brought you through mm -hmm. these times. Yes. They felt as though they was above others. Uh -huh. And sometimes people feel that I'm better than you. 
Yes. All right. Because I drive a better car, I got, I got a better income. I live in a different avenue than what you live. All right. But we're not better than each other. All right. All right. Y'all on the same plane. Uh -huh. But they felt that they was better than others. That they had more privilege, more gifts, and they was accepted for their intelligence and blessed and they're more spiritually. Mm -hmm. But Paul had to tell him, I, I've been there, brothers and sisters. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes. I can speak many different languages. All right. Uh -huh. I've been on the Sanhedrin Council. I, I didn't want to let that go because y'all say y'all are more intelligent. But I had to come dumb yes. to learn about Christ. Yes, All right. Sir. But the scripture right. says, Matthew 23, 23rd chapter, 27, 28 verses, Woe unto you, scribes uh -huh. and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you are like unto a white sculpture, which indeed appear beautiful on the outwards, mm -hmm. but within full of dead men's bones, mm. and all unclean. Even so, ye also outwards appear righteous unto men, but within ye you are full of hypocrites yes, and liberty. Mm. And that's what's happening to us and to people that's in the church. They're not true believers that are speaking the word. But now, brothers and sisters, it's time to get on board. All right. It's time to stop playing church. Uh -huh. It's time to stop playing with each other. But it's time to be real in Christ. Yes, sir. And God is showing who is real yes. and who is wrong. Because yes. right. he's uncovering us. And when you get uncovered, you might not like what you see. All right. And that is what God is doing to the world. He uncovering the false Christians. Right. Right. He uncovering the false ministers. He uncovering the false prophets. Right. He uncovering the false believers. He uncovering. All right. And when God uncovered, when he gets done, and when he gets the attention of the people, because people are doing anything and everything they want to do yes, in these right. days and time. Right. And God said, I want to get your attention. All right. And brother, he got our attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got it wide, our eyes are wide open, yeah. ready to listen to God. Yeah. God is good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And here Paul is saying to the church, He's saying that I, I, I agree with you when you say I'm a fool for Christ. He yeah, said, yeah. I'm a fool for Christ. Yes. He said I'm a fool for the fool for the God's glory. Yes. I, I go after Him, leaning and depending on Him. Yes, so, yes. And hear what Paul said in Matthew 5 and 16. He said, Let your light so shine. Yes. Before yes, means yes, that they may see. Your good works mm -hmm. and glorify your Father, which is heaven. Yes. And brothers and sisters, that's what we got to be doing. People say you don't have to live for each other. Yes, you do. Because mm -hmm. yes, God said, let your light so shine. Mm -hmm. He didn't say your voice. He didn't say talk it, but he said, let your light so shine. Yes, that right. means your work that you do for him, not just in the church, but out of the church, yes. in your community, in the world. That's what he wants you to show people today. All right. Because they need to see that right now. Mm -hmm. They need some hope. They need some joy. They need something that they can hang on to. Yes, and it's up to us to give them what they need. Yes, Amen. Sir. And we as Christians, saved individuals, we have something right as our personal Savior. We are to be showing people how to lead. All right. And how to go through these things with a smile on our face. Yes. All right. Need to be greeting people. Need to be encouraging people in all walks of life. Yes. And Romans 9 and 3 says, For I could wish that myself were accused from Christ for my brothers. Hmm. But my kin is according to the flesh. Brother, my heart desire and pray to God for Israel is. Yes, sir. That my that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. That is our prayer on today, is that not only just the church will get saved, uh -huh. but every man, boy and girl will accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yes, 
And that's what we got to do. We live in too much inside the church. We need to come and praise God and worship Him and all that good stuff. But we need to go out into the highways and byways and compel men and women to come to Christ. Because it's, they're ready right now. Because God got their attention. He got them scared. He got them looking. And so we need to go out and tell God and men and women that God lives and He lives in me. And we need to tell them that they are waiting on us. And when we say that the harvest is great, All right. the harvest is ready right now. Amen. The harvest is ready. It's time for us to get out. Amen. Time to go out on our jobs, our neighbors, and tell them about Jesus Christ. Amen. They are ready to accept Christ right now. All right. Because they are panicking. Yes, they don't know which way to turn. Yes, but we as Christians, mm -hmm. we should not have fear. All right. We should be able to go and lower our masks, mm -hmm. take our gloves off, mm -hmm. and we really believe in Christ. All right. We should be not looking like the world. All right. We're looking too much like the world. I don't know if Amen. you're a Christian who's Amen. not a Christian because I can't see behind the masks. I can't see behind all that stuff. But when I go into the grocery store, mm. I go with no mask, no blood, but that's my faith. That's right. I'm not telling you to have my faith, but that's mm. my faith. When I go in there, yes. I go in there like I normally go in there, grab a buggy, rolling around the cart, and I say hello, and I say, if you don't want me to hug you, just put a stop sign on. All right. Because I'm a hugging preacher. Yes, sir. Mm. And I'm not going to stop hugging. I'm not going to stop shaking hands. Because I want to show the world that God lives and He lives in me. Yes. All right. And we need to show the world that. Last scripture, John 4 and 34 says, Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of Him that sent me mm -hmm. and to finish His work. I must work the work of Him that sent me while He is dead, mm -hmm. because night is coming. When no man can work. All right. No man can work. Mm. And so we need to depend, stand on the word of God. Amen. When everything has been said, we need to stand on the word of God. Mm. And brothers and sisters, we need to start now. Yes. Showing the world what side that we own. Mm. Because it's time to choose a side. Amen. And I have chose the Lord's side. All right. For me and my family, uh -huh. we're going to serve the Lord. Yes. I don't know yes. what's going yes. on out there in the world, but for me and my family, we're going to serve the Lord. Yes, and I just like to drop something in your spirit mm -hmm. that a lot of people say that I was fooled. A lot of people say, Why you got the church open? Why don't you listen to the law? And I said, I have been listening to the law. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did nothing illegal mm -hmm. according to the law. Yes. So God always got you. Yes. He always got you back. Mm -hmm. He always got you where he needs you to be at. And I'm going to continue to preach the word of God. Yes. I'm going to continue to be nice and be courteous mm -hmm. to do what the Lord says do in these times like this. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm going to do all that. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to say to you, if you on Facebook mm -hmm. or wherever you might be at home, I'd like to extend the invitation to you right now. Mm -hmm. God is able to save you right now. All right. Just to where you are right now. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is let God in. All right. All right. Say, Lord, forgive me for all the sins I have created. I know I have sinned. Yes, yes. And Lord, I want you to come into my heart mm -hmm. right now. Yes, sir. Accept him right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's right there. Yes, he is. He's in every place at one time. Yes. He's the only one that can do it. The devil can't do that. Right. But God can be in every place at one time. Yes. And he's there right Knocking at your door. Mm. Morning, won't you let him in? All right. Won't you accept Christ as your personal Savior right now? Mm -hmm. And once you let him in, 
He would take total control. All right. He would guide you. He would lead you through his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Won't you let him in today? Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come, Lord, thanking you and praising you Thank for you. this word on today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that it might touch someone's soul, Lord, someone's please, heart. Touch. Lord, that they might want to turn to you in times like this. Yes, yes Lord. And Lord, we ask you to bless the ones who faith might be a little weak right now. Please, Father. Lord, that you might strengthen every true believer right now. Because, mm -hmm. Lord, you need all of us right now yeah. to go out into the world and to tell this world that you live and you live with me. Yes, and we need to get together and praise God and to read our word and yes. to help other Christians to get stronger yes. and to grow. But, Lord, I ask you this in Jesus' name, Lord. Yes. I ask you right now that you touch every soul right now. Right now, Lord. Every believer right now. Yes, Lord. Lord, that you might convict their hearts, Lord, that they might want to do better in yes. their families, yes. to their neighbors, to their friends, and to their co-workers right now. And Lord, I ask you to bless each person as they go into their workplace on Monday. Lord, I ask you to cover them right now. Right. Lord, that they might catch anything, Lord. And Lord, we know that you can do it, Lord. Yeah. As you go into the grocery store, as we go into many different business, Lord, I ask you to cover us right now. Right now, Lord. Cover us, Lord, right now, Lord. Let no harm or danger come unto us. Because, Lord, we are your people. Yes. And you say you'll be with us, Lord. Yes. You say you'll never forsake us. And, Lord, we believe that, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.